December 27, 2018. Blanket Metalworks. Um, today I'm going to test uh, my heat treat trio with CPM T15, which is very high alloy. It's about has about 1.6% carbon and 12.5% uh, tungsten and a bunch of vanadium. So. It's sort of expensive, and so I did not want to go into the destructive testing yet. I mean, drop a nail. So I'm going to do make sure that it passed the basic test first. And so it could get a lot harder, but I heat treated to 63 rush, uh, 65 rock well. I freehand and I measure about 15 degrees per side, and some wobbling perhaps, and uh, maybe plus. You know, say plus or minus, um, mainly plus because you know, you create a micro bevel shut, so you get up to about 16, 17 percent, and uh, degree per side here, and thickness behind the edge is about 20 thousand, and some area maybe you know 18, some are 22, and that, and then the other knife is a regular M2, he treated the 64 Rockwell and have pretty much similar geometry. I use in the, the uh, caliper when I grind, so I make sure the thickness behind the edge is the same. And I uh, sharpen both wood, uh, end up with silicon carbide, uh, water stone, about 400 grit, and I use in DMT extra fine to deburr oh, quickly, I mean to see a few rub. So basically the edge start out. So, uh, well, serviceable meaning it's sharp enough and for M2 and it's not super clean for the tip and for you notice I got a draw like this slice again it, it it's a chopping Blade, so so first up here, yeah, pretty much going to do it's it's not we're going through um this regular um two by four. Basically, I the area of chopping here, so. That's going to be the area of uh, testing slicing for book paper. I'm not going to check out the, the 2x4. And this is a dry, uh, that for eucalyptus, it's really dense. I think it's harder to chop than oak. I found oak, I should test an oak too, might as well. and not going to test the edge you can let this the one that's going to do um, the cut down I mean I'm looking for I mean wear resistant they're not mud and chop and I mean in terms of wearing by by abrasive so mainly you are dolling by uh, deformation or chipping or something like on that mode so and if it roll or ripple or chip then it will snag the phone book paper so this is a basic test oh.
Okay, so now I'm going to. There's uh, you know, some of these things sticking on this kind of sap and so it's sticky. So sometimes that uh, when you test, some sap will kind of make your cut hesitate. Okay, I'm going to test the uh, area. Near the tip is not without the impact. Is. So, right here, so the color is slide through the paper without any problem. And it is M2 now. The breeze picking up a little. I shouldn't expect it now. These things are fairly simple, so there shouldn't be no big deal. Uh, this is African black wood. I'm going to just go kind of widow it, feed them up by, by pressing down on the hole. Oh, actually, I can widow in here. Uh, for those who don't know, African black wood it act, it's really dense, it's very heavy. Junker hardness is very high, one of the highest, and it's very heavy. It's uh, one of the very heavy too. And how about we will sink in the water? But Pacific gravity is way more than water. But you can see it bites into very high. I mean, very dense hardwood, and that means the edge is uh, it's still aggressive of a 400 grit silicon carbide. And uh, this thing is actually it bite a little bit more. Probably have a more bigger uh, primary carbide because it's a powder, a particular particle of metallurgy or powder. People call it both way. So there's not a. So that is African black wood. I don't expect anything out of it except have more oil uh, so it would stick probably because of the oil but otherwise nothing so and then okay it will be the next video before I uh, going to test uh, against Neil I think I initially I thought it was it's a shin bone, but I think it's a femur bone, bone of a cow. And I bought it, cook it, and then now take the marrow out. And it's very hard. So I think it's got a, I bought it so they cut this short, so it's got a hard, so I'm going to widow, but actually against a 2x4 back in here. And this M2. Although bone it fairly hard and brittle and it breaks very unexpectedly. So um, but it's much harder than antler, much harder than you know, pork bone, and because again it's uh, it's a very high strength. Super dense because again I'm in a cow standing on this so, uh, very heavy structure on it. Anyway so now that was M2 and I'm going to we go over this corner for the Let me wither in the other old spot because it seems to be a little bit more brittle here. Yep. All right.
Here's one over here. Well, it's fine with the CPM T15. And the M2, which is have a lot finer carbine. It not since it's not a problem, so it, at this point it doesn't tell me much except it passed some repairs. So I'm going to do some tapping. I think I wear a glove I'm using this thing. Um, Okay, <laughs> it's funny. Okay, okay. So I'm going to just tap the bone. I mean, short chop um, on the side here, not on the top. I'm looking for if there are damages. I'm looking for the. Uh, Hitler trio, I'm looking for the the uh, damage by deformation, meaning that it, it dent, roll, I mean, it's cell plasticity rather than uh, brittleness. So that's what uh, the idea is here, what I'm looking for. And that is the T15. Now, far we're going to chop right here. I have to remember where I chop. Okay. It's fairly smooth and this big bone is uh, pretty nasty though. All right, enough uh, wandering at the bone. The phone book become a, a rare thing nowadays. I have to save this one. Look like there's something on the edge. Okay. Um. I do it really slow because I so slightly a lot less than if I were doing this way. I did, you know, which is smack the paper thicker or, or any other way than perpendicular to the paper. In the paper thickness, then you actually cut thicker paper. But anyway, that's why I do it a little slow so I can see any there we go, any deformation or any damage right there. I feel like hesitation right there. And I see what is that damage is. It's not out here. It's here. So. There is some hesitation going on. I don't know. I cannot see it um, with my... And I don't have light. It doesn't reflect light. At this point, I don't have a direct sunlight right now. I doubt that... Uh, this camera I'm going to pick up, but I'm going to try it anyway. So that uh, CPM T15, and this is the M2. I expect M2 to be better, perform better because it's lower carbide volume and also lower hardness. You can see it's a lot smoother here. I have no problem. Again, this is sucks that I'm testing. So, we'll go back to the T15 here because I'm testing because that M2 or this area, and also right now the wind stop. Yeah, there, there's something right there. There's something. So definitely, there's a little bit of something. So I need to. Uh, Take a close-up picture and put at the end of this video.
Thanks for watching.